Yo, what's going on, everybody? And welcome to the HQ Castle Weekly Podcast, brought to you by the boys at HQ. My name is Big Nick. It's Dev, your boy, a.k.a. Digital Dev. <laughs> it's your boy, Sean Thomas, as S-H-A-W-M for all you fake Shans out there. And I'm Nick, the John Williams of Podcast Theme Songs, and this episode of the HQ Cast is brought to you by Youth Energy. If you want to spruce up your look, get a cool Mighty Ducks hat like mine or two other different Mighty Ducks hats. <laughs> That are available now. And you his can, new mascot is looks has like the Mighty Ducks, Ducks mask thing. Have you seen it? And his new mascot has the Mighty Ducks thing. You can go to youthenergydesigns.com. Use code HQ10 to get 10% off your purchase of some of the cool shirts and hats on the web. And Dev, I'm going to need you to hit the button on the stream. This episode is also brought to you by Manscaped. You know what I found out today? April is Cystic Cancer Awareness Month, not March. I was very misled by the email. Lauren, if we're if we're if we're talking to each other right now, our representative of Manscaped. Hey, I goofed it, man. I read the email. So the campaign was from March 15th to April 5th. It said and it was testicular cancer awareness. I was like, most of this happens in March. March has to be it. I didn't do my research. It's April, but that's great. That's fine. That's People, fine. You can check your nuts all year round. Exactly. Yeah. And that was kind of my point in the video anyway. Yeah. Testicular cancer does not stop. And if you go to manscaped.com slash HQ and use the code HQBOYS, you get 20% off and free shipping of the Perfect Package 3.0 kit, which will help you shep- shave your nuts and check for lumps. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Was, it's okay. like I got a degree in this shit, huh? You know? You're pretty good at it. And as always, <laughs> thank you to Elgato for giving us the gear we need to make great stuff for you. Big Nick. You got an open. Yeah. All right. Here's the deal. I'm We're up. in the age of the reboot. Yeah. The remake. Yeah. Right. All these movies are coming out. That's true. They're rebooting these movies left and right. Yeah. I'm not complaining. I'm not. A, I'm not a reboot complainer. I wish I get rebooted. <clears throat> Me too. Now there's a film I have in mind. Yeah. Okay. That I think deserves a reboot. It launched a career into the stratosphere. This movie. Okay. And I think it needs a reboot. Okay. The Kim K fuck tape. We got to reboot it. <laughs> My God, dude. dude. With Kanye? I thought no. you were going to have a real one. Well, that is a real one. That I is mean, a real film. Kim K superstar starring Ray, featuring Ray J is a real <laughs> movie. I know it. Okay, but, but that was leaked, right? It wasn't like. Well, I mean. No, 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 no. It was, it was originally the leaked, intention. and then they. And, and then, then Chris they, Jenner like, was like, this we're going to make money on opportunity. this. And now she's like the most famous person on earth. Because of the fuck tape. So. I don't know. You guys did lose um, Google Trends because you tried to put Diwali Kim Kardashian <laughs> next to it. Hey, yeah. That's true. So I think, <laughs> listen, here's the deal. Yeah. We get her back in the saddle. Okay. She's back in. Okay. So are we are we doing like a, like a Star Wars HD remaster? Or we're, are I we need a whole no. new deal? Well, here's the one. Yeah. But could, it still has the same name. Right. Same name. We could get someone to replace Ray J. Ray J. Or he could come back if he wants. Yeah. I t- I listen. A recurring role. Yeah. <laughs> he, if he needs he the could money. Come reprise the role as himself in the fuck tape. But usually in the reboots they have different actors. Yeah, so but maybe uh, someone else plays Kim Kardashian. Yeah, okay, Remember like how Lisa this Ann played good. Sarah Palin? <laughs> yeah. They could do that one porn star. No, 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 star. no, no, no. The point is it's not a porn, it's a fuck tape. So it's not a porno. It's a fuck tape. I mean, come hey, on. What's it's, the it's tomato, tomato. You know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They could have Layla Starr, who who janked herself up all crazy. Yeah. She went from she went from looking normal to looking like Kim K. It was really nuts. Yeah. yeah. This is a nightmare of an opener. <laughs> You're welcome. Layla Starr, superstar. Kim K. Superstar featuring Layla Starr. <laughs> and as, as Kim, Kim Kardashian. K. And who's playing Ray J? Uh, well, there's a there's a black porner named Shawn Michaels, <laughs> which is also the name of my favorite wrestler. So he can play Ray J. Or Lexington and Steel. Okay. Yeah, I was just thinking about reboots, and they should reboot that movie. Okay. All right, well, why don't we reboot the intro? I've got another opener. (laughs) Thank God. Nick, you hate the Kim K fuck tape? That's not what I said. You're acting like it. (laughs) You're acting like you hate it. (laughs) You're acting like you fucking hate it, and I'm... I'm trying to hear back. Well, maybe in. maybe Nick here's, just doesn't want to mess with perfection. I'll tell you what it's happened. Not that you want, good. It's not. You great. want to know what happened? You brought up reboots. I'm guessed up on the MonsterVerse this week, and I thought I was going to be able the to talk about God, yes, the Godzilla movies oh, and yeah, King yeah. Kong. No, I thought I was going to be able. We're talking about that fucking I thought garbage. I was, we're talking I, about what? Kim K. Whoa. And the fuck tape. I thought I was going to be able to talk about the Godzilla movies again for like the fourth episode in a row. I was looking forward to it, and then you hit me with Kim K. Superstar, and I just how am I supposed to? Transition into like, oh yeah, you know, we could have King Kong is King filming Dong. it or something. What's what are we doing? King Dong. I just, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that 
I me bringing up Kim Kardashian's fuck tape and how we should get her to make a new one <laughs> was going to upset you. I, think I didn't think it was going to bum you out. Yeah, crazy. Here's yeah. here's my hot take. I don't really give a shit about like celebrity sex tapes. Yeah, they're like for the most part like super boring. (laughs) It's basically just normal people having sex. Yeah, it's like it's whack. It's like yeah, it's like they're not any more practiced than me or you. Yeah, do do listen, celebs, do better. You have like much higher budget than us. (laughs) Just do better. I love do better. Yeah. Okay, Uh, so my opener. (laughs) You 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 have more to talk about? Well, I was no. You got. You want to go location scouting for this thing? I, I figured they could go back to the same hotel. <laughs> You've given a lot of thought to this. Well, I thought about it today. That's where the the whole idea came from. Yeah. The reboot. The reboot. <laughs> the reboot. They got to reboot one night in Paris. See? Oh, now wow. all of a sudden you're on board. Okay, now, now we're talking. That's the Paris. You the Paris out. Hilton one, dude. No, no, I didn't know she had one. Are you fucking kidding really? me? Really? One like night in Paris. Of, first I've heard of this. That's a funny name, though. Uh, the Pamela Anderson's yeah. Tommy Lee sex Tommy tape. Lee one, when they're on the boat and Tommy Lee drives the boat with his dick. Yeah, crazy. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's news to me also. Wow. You better get on the internet. So you guys ever go you guys ever go to like a restaurant or Starbucks and you order something and they ask you for a specific like, oh, do you want this in it? And you never knew that was an option. Mm. I'm fucking sick of that. <laughs> Today. Today I go to order Nick a drink. He gets a very specific drink, and I was like, "Oh, can I get this? Can I get this matcha black tea latte? But can you make it with green uh, green tea latte? But can you make it with black tea?" And he was like, "What kind of ratio you want?" And I was like, "That's not my fucking decision, my man. You're the guy. You gotta do what that. Do you usually do, yeah." yeah. Like, and I'll never forget when I was like, I don't know, like sixteen, I went to Route Twenty Eight Diner, and uh, for anyone who doesn't know. My favorite diner in Cape Cod. I used to go there with my grandma all the time in Yarmouth. If you're if you're listening right now, do we have anyone who listens on Cape Cod? Deb's mom. Mm. If you if you want to go to Yarmouth, Route 28 Diner. She tell works in. She's tell him tell him Sean sent you. No one who works there will remember me at all. But you should say it anyway. But I the lady Nancy used to just I would order like a breakfast sandwich and it would be made a certain way and mm. I just ate it and then I went there one day Nancy wasn't there I was flying solo I was like oh can I get the bacon egg and cheese on a bagel and the person was like do you want it grilled or toasted and I was like I don't you better call Nancy because, <laughs> I, because I don't fucking know uh and have, have you been anywhere where that thing happens to you and you're just fucking lost you're like, I, I don't know well you know what I, I realized while you were telling this story? Because you told me earlier, but now having listened to it a second Spo- time. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I told Nick earlier. Yeah. Having listened to it a second time, I realized something. Mm. Even though we don't like that guy mm. that you talked to at the start of He's really mean. He's Is really he? mean. Uh, he what if? got an attitude. What if the reason he asked <laughs> you yeah is because in the past oh for sure someone reamed him out over he the is, ratio yeah. 100%. He is, uh, that he is PTSD for so sure. i feel some bad some dickhead that. customer was like oh i wanted this this is only 40 yeah. percent black tea yeah 40 mm. percent suck my dick and drink the thing man. yeah you stupid you kidding? Kidding? drink the thing huh drink the thing. only <laughs> only if you suck my dick and also only 40 percent suck my dick yeah, yeah. mr shelf over here. mr shelf that's is all they can making fit. drink the thing. Forty percent. Forty percent. Forty percent means just a tip, by the way. <laughs> anyway, you guys okay. ever think about the ratio that you just set up there? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Oh. Yeah, you know what's funny? You, you know what was really funny about this episode? I was going just hog wild. Is uh, my managers today found out. I have a podcast. Oh, Yikes. Nice. hey, welcome to the well, show. I didn't link them, but they might be here now. But uh. One of them was like, oh, what do you guys do on that show? And I was like, oh, this one tonight is kind of just like for funsies. We do whatever. The one on Monday is a little more structured. And he was like, oh, that's really sick. And then when you said you wanted to reboot <laughs> Kim Can Ray J's sex tape, I went, I wonder if they found the link. Because before <laughs> I left, I was going to be like, because I was like, oh, I was going to be like, oh, you guys can check out the podcast here. So glad I didn't send it to him. Why? Were you embarrassed? I'll send this to the owners of the company I work at. I'll go, listen to me talk about the Kim K fuck tape reboot that I would like. They're like, we're on board. How much much money, how much you need? (laughs) Anyway, you guys ever, have you ever been asked? I'm trying to think. Yeah, I can. It is a familiar feel. Like, I can, I can, like, remember the feeling of this, but I can't remember, like, a specific instance. It's it's always weird when it's like something you get all the time and you're like I don't know how they're prepared. yeah it's like how do they usually have, it's kind of like how they usually do it because yeah. that's how I yeah. get it. I get it I get it regular because I don't say I don't 
I gave you the order, and that's how I order it every time. I yeah. don't say any other extra shit, so figure it out for me. Dude. Maybe we can figure this out together. Like, Dude, that reminds me of, I saw, there's this dude on TikTok. He's fucking brilliant. He does these TikToks where he, like, pretends to be, like, a shitty frat guy or, like, a shitty teacher or whatever. And he did, like, the the regular at Starbucks, and he's in there massed down. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, just give me the usual. He goes back to his phone. And the, oh, and, I've seen this guy. Dude, it's so fucking horrible. And the, and the guy's like, I don't know what the usual is. He's like, what do you mean? I come here every day. Like, uh, let me like talk to your manager. <laughs> dude, and it's I like, it. that sounds oh, dude, so it is cursed. so spot on and so horrific to watch yeah. because you know you've seen it. You know, yeah. I always I always joke about, no, not a joke. I always say earnestly that I want to work at a Starbucks. <laughs> But if I ever had that guy, I don't know. I think I'd become unraveled. Here's here's what I here's what I yeah. <clears throat> here's a world that I want to live in. I'm. They've mm, rebooted the fuck day. Yeah, <laughs> I've rebooted. Oh, well, yeah. I would be. I would have been already a multimillionaire and have rebooted the fuck tape already and made even more money. Okay. And then since I don't have to like work a real job, mm -hmm. I would just work at like a Starbucks and every like dickhead customer, I would just cuss them out. <laughs> you would only work there for like a day. That's what I'm saying. That's all he needs. That's all I need. I just need to get it out. System, I, yeah. I need to let these people know that they can't push everyone around. That's all. I, that's all. That's it. Grand opening, grand closing yeah. on a Starbucks shift. I'll, that's then, I'll, then I'll go right across the street and work at Phil's. That, see, this could but be I a show. I wouldn't get fired from there because I love You know Undercover Boss? Yeah. That, but you're getting hired to go work at all these places and talk back to the customers. Yeah, it's like... It's not, this is this, a Nathan for you I idea. Say, That's what this is. is. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is reminding me of <clears throat> a similar, I think, interaction, which is you go somewhere, you go all the time. You order something off the menu, you always order, and either it's been taken off the menu oh. or Mia they've Wendy's. changed how it is like. That's us with Alondra's. Right. Yeah. They've changed oh. something about like the order either, structure or the order structure or or the way they make it, you know, it might be like a chicken sandwich, but now they put like some more shit on it or different yeah. shit and you like no longer like it. The yeah. Recipes changed. Yeah. Yes. New head chef. Yeah. Uh, that is, I would rather, I think uh, that they just shut the whole restaurant. I'd down. rather eat at home and yeah. I hate doing that. <laughs> so I can think of an exact specific for that one. So, you know, I used to go to Taco Bell all the time, maybe like 10 years ago and I would get, Chicken chalupa with Baja sauce all the time. That's the only thing I would get. Sometimes I get the meal, but chicken chalupa with Baja sauce. And then eventually, like, I started ordering. They're like, we don't, what's that? What's Baja sauce? And I'm like, it's like this sauce that goes on it. Cause it was an extra. It like, it didn't normally come on it. And I was like, okay, cool. So I like, I still got the chalupa cause I enjoyed it. But then eventually I figured out that the name of Baja sauce was switched to spicy ranch, but it was mm. like maybe like a year later. I was like, what the fuck is this? And so I figured it out, but it was unfortunate. I'm surprised the employees didn't get a memo that was like, hey, yeah. Baja sauce is now Cold spicy, spicy ranch. ranch. Yeah. Instruct the customer that yeah. it's no longer Baja sauce, but it's the same. Put the little sign up. Yeah. Does this yeah. still exist? Spicy I think ranch? spicy ranch is kind of good. <laughs> it's so <laughs> good. Like, oh, it's, no, what they put, it's what they were putting in like the potato tacos and stuff. It's that oh, sauce. The potatoes bad. are back, by the way, mm -hmm. at Taco Bell. Potatoes mm -hmm. are back. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, so Alondra's did that to us. Yes. So Alondra's is wing place, best wings in LA. That I found so far. Yes. I thought that was like their official slogan. Also. I don't know that if that's a lot of people <laughs> claim to be the best. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just quoting them. And they, thanks for the follow. Oops. We got to mute the TV. Um, I don't know where that's all at. Their menu was that you could, you get this combo of like wings or strips, whatever you wanted. And it came with. Uh, the fries, fries or like the worst mac and cheese I've ever or the had. weird mac and cheese. Yeah. But now it's all just like a la carte. Yeah. Chicken. And the prices are not as good. And the prices are, are fucked up. So it's like we're getting less food for more money and it, it's not a combo. We used to have a system. Maybe. And yeah. And the system was good because we would split stuff and it just made sense. And now that it's a la carte, it feels like they did it intentionally because we were pulling up getting the combo. So they were like, fuck these guys. They figured out the deal. They yeah, got the combo break. They got the, the combo that was on the menu. Right. So yeah. we got to switch it up. <laughs> and that's really annoying. Um, so, yeah, we've we've definitely gone there less since they did that in Wendy's. Also, I mean, I think we've the menu I think we've us. realistically gone there less for two reasons. A, I don't live around the corner anymore. And B, it was kind of just coronavirus and coronavirus. We did eat uh, there once. The, during, do you listen, remember? when we ate outside yeah. and it was yeah. honestly the food was still the same good three, quality it's three, just they fucked the menu up three yeah. reasons we don't go there in order they've changed the menu <laughs> yeah. yeah dev doesn't live there yep. coronavirus yes. <laughs> i would say that is accurate yeah. the changing of the menu really was quite devastating because it used to be like 10 bucks 12 bucks and you get everything you want and now it's yeah. like 12 bucks you get half of what you want mm -hmm. yeah yeah same thing at wendy's i can't believe 
I feel so robbed. The, the spicy chicken go wrap not being at Wendy's is psychotic. To oh, me. yeah. That, oh, that's not a thing that I order. Oh, my God. I they also it. got rid of them from McDonald's years ago. Yeah. Dude, when I, dude, so the Owie, wrap. So, sorry, Owie, if you're listening, I'm going to air you out. She loves McDonald's. That's fine. And she wanted to order McDonald's the other day. I was like, yeah, okay, fine. And we went there because that McDonald's by our house has been closed for like a whole fucking year. So we went there and I was thinking, I was like, I know Nick used to get these fucking wraps and I've been fiending for a wrap. No, not on the menu. It's fucking sickening. You there used to be one at KFC that was called the Chicken Twister Wrap. I love love the Chicken Twister Wrap. Yeah, have you ever had this? Awesome. Maybe yeah, this like, was years and, years and years and years ago. Sounds familiar. There's a it KFC was, now. <clears throat> it was pretty big. It was like one. it wasn't like a small wrap. It yeah. was like pretty big. Yeah, it was like a and had like three yeah. chicken strips in it, lettuce, tomato, and this like pepper ranch. Mm-hmm. It was like a peppercorn ranch. Hmm. So I basically I, I didn't get the wrap. I got the sandwich, which was yeah, the same thing, same just thing. not in a wrap. Yeah. It was just in buns. You so. guys ever have the the inside out sandwich from there? Where they oh, put the, the piece of the toast double between stacker the or double, whatever. The double yeah, between two pieces of chicken and the chicken. <laughs> I had that on the night before my sixteenth birthday. Uh-huh. Threw up all night and then had to do my driving hours the next morning at like eight a.m. on my birthday after. And while up driving, KFC the driving night. hours went through the drive through. Got, got another got one. Another one. Dude, KFC chicken twists are not online anymore. You should you mm. should get the the buffalo wraps I've been getting from Veggie Grill. I was just afraid they're not going to fill me up enough. Oh, they're good. They're really good. The buffalo wraps from Veggie but, Grill. But the, oh no. I oh, usually, no, I if popped. I get that and I get a side of sweet potato fries, that's it. You're ready to rock. I popped the fucking tab yeah, for my I Red Bull you. into my Red Bull. Yeah, uh, KFC macaroni and cheese, undefeated. <laughs> Quite good. Undefeated. KFC mac and cheese. Yeah. Also, another good thing about KFC is that they are, that them, Taco Bell and Pizza Hut are owned by Pepsi, so we get Pepsi products there. Well, so you get, you get Baja. Pepsi? Yeah, so you, you get the Baja Blast. You know, you get Baja Blast, Blast so, you know, if you are... You were ever in Wareham, Massachusetts. I don't know if it's there anymore. Next to WaterWiz, there's the KFC Taco Bell combo. So you could get wow. you could get KFC and a Baja Blast. Fucking crazy. That, they have one in Hyannis. Oh yeah, they do. Which is way closer to where you lived so, and grew well, up. Well, you know no, what I think about time. The one in Hyannis was, was not, just a KFC. Was just a KFC. Just KFC. KFC. On the col- on the, yeah, the rotary. Rotary. Call yeah. on the rotary. Yeah, it used to be just oh, wow. KFC. Um, do you not remember before the Taco Bell? Do you remember when the Taco Bell went in and it was like? Is it like when the Chick Fil A went in a couple of years ago? By yeah, the, it, by was crazy, it was crazy. Crazy oh, wow. people were lined up all the way down to the harbor. Whoa! And that's when that's, that's when good. I that's when I found out about the Taco Bell beef hose and I stopped eating beef from Taco Bell. <laughs> Whoa! That was at that Taco Bell. Wow! The beef yeah. hose sounds gross. I have a fantasy about the cannoli hose, which is like a, a similar uh, invention, but it's cannoli cream instead of beef. That's Dude, and for some it. reason, it's better. Oh, way better. <laughs> it's cannoli cream. <laughs> Jam it right in my mouth and crank the hose on. Dude, side note. I, Nick and I saw a TikTok on how to make your own Baja Blast. Yeah, have you seen this? Yeah. Work? Oh, yeah. I yeah. saw it on Factor Cap. Yeah. 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 It's the yeah. one. What, Party it, Boys or whatever the fuck they're called? It, yeah. it's, it's, it's just Blue Gatorade. Gatorade. Well, technically Blue Powerade because they're yeah. owned by Pepsi, but yeah. And then and or Mountain Blue Gatorade, Gatorade, Mountain Dew and Sierra Mist. A little bit of Sierra mm- Mist. Oh, I don't know. I'll do this right now. This is this is Nick's own addendum to the TikTok. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't do the Sierra Mist. No, they didn't. They didn't add it, but they talked about how they should be adding it because that was part of it. I'm gonna. I didn't make that on it back. Mm. I'd like to try that though. I also would like to try it, but you talking about the the Taco Bell on Cape Cod and talking about Cape. Yeah, I started telling Nick earlier. Mm. There is a chance. Oh God. Oh yeah. Are you okay? That I (laughs) never go back to Cape Cod again. Well, oh, there's like a hundred percent chance I never go back. Right. Well, but, except um, uh, uh, except for a deliberate trip to San Diego's. Mm, I just go back for like Christmas or something. Well, yeah, they don't mom, have family there anymore. My yeah. mom put her house oh. on the market today. Devin, oh. have you use your fucking brain, man? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you didn't still. My parents moved to South Carolina, which you did know. I probably did, but I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> my mom put her house on the market today. Wow. Okay. So. That's it. I'm never going back. No more Cape Cod. That's crazy. Yeah. But RIP. Let me give you some good reasons to go back. San Diego's. <laughs> Katie's, a homemade ice cream on Main Street. Katie's, the two corner stores. Uh huh. Really just the one in, in, in Orleans. Orleans. The mall. The mall. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yes. <laughs> um, you're already there. If you're at San Diego's, you're right across Here's the, the thing Street. Devin and I have to go back probably pretty frequently. Yeah. <laughs> so and that's why you guys can come. 
no, I would I would literally rather die <laughs> I would than love to go, go dude, I didn't want to keep I didn't want to go back when just Big Nick was living down the road. I would have to make him come back. <laughs> Dude, no shot. I would go to Boston and not go to Cape. Yeah. But. Or he would go to Boston and I would beg him to come. The Sparrow. Sparrow's okay. pretty fucking Hot great. Chocolate Sparrow? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The place is fucking great. The place is great, but it's like a minefield for me because I have to see all my old like classmates there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that was Chaos. so far removed from Barnstable. Yeah, yeah. I was ready to rock. Yeah. She put her house on the market today, and once that shit sells, I will never have to go back. Honestly, Honestly I would. Honestly, Beach for reasons. Even if I didn't. If, if my mom didn't live on Cape, I would still like to take the ferry from Boston to P-Town because it's the sickest thing ever. I've never done that. That's like my favorite thing. Not <laughs> even a single time. I've never done it. Yeah. P-Town's like sick, but yeah. But it's, it's it. <clears throat> so it's this weird thing where I'm like, I don't ever have to go back. And then it's like a little weird to think about, right? Yeah, right. Huh? That you don't have like, yeah, that is weird to think that about. like there's nothing there. Like once my mom leaves, there's nothing on Cape. Like, That's it. who, why am I going, why yeah. would I go there ever? Yeah, my mom is literally the only person that's left on yeah. Cape. You might, I mean, my sister doesn't live on Cape, so, like, yeah, that's, that's Like, I'm it. not really in contact with anyone that lives there. I'm not, like, just don't have to go anymore. You don't have to go. <laughs> kind of weird. Yeah, I had, I had the same realization the other week. You know what was really <laughs> weird was my parents selling. Dude, it was like, it was like real smoke. I outside, know. Outside yeah, the window. Like, um... What's really for me is was my parents selling that house because mm-hmm. I I didn't like really grew up grew up there because I was I was like all over the place but from third grade on that was like the only place I lived yeah. and it had been so long since I had been back anyway but I was like man what if what if there was some treat I left behind no some yeah. treat well there was definitely shit that I left in my room that Blaze took over yeah of course and one of those things is probably. A collector's edition Mass Effect Three Prima Guide. Whoa! I thought you were gonna say the Office Space poster. That too. Wow! Wow! <laughs> I have a wow. <laughs> I have a lot of memories of that Office Space poster. Also, also the Iron Maiden yeah, tapestry. tapestry. Yeah. yeah. I was texting my mom today because she texted me this morning. She was like, "Oh, I put the I, the house is up. Mm. Like, you know, put out good energy. Whatever. Hope to get what she's looking for." Um. And then I just started texting her like really like ridiculous things that happened in that house. Cause mm-hmm. like I told Brian and Brian was just like, dude, do you remember this? Do you remember this? And I was just like texting my, my mom was just like laughing. And I was like, I don't even know if you know about this one night when we were young, Matt Carroll as what he pissed. Yeah. got like <laughs> hammered. You told the story on the podcast. Yeah. Actually. And he came to my house and then he like drunkenly in the middle of the night got, went to the top of the stairs and pissed down the stairs. And my mom like cleaned it up. So I texted her and was just like, Oh, should I get Matt Carroll to come by and piss down the stairs again before you leave? <laughs> wow. And she was just like, that's so funny. I was just thinking about that, but I, wow. I couldn't remember who it was. Then. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, just like crazy stuff like that. And it's just like so bizarre that like, you grow up somewhere, right? Mm-hmm. And your whole life is there. And now, once my mom leaves, Never have I will back. have yeah. zero reason to go back other than, like, to go to Cape Cod. Yeah, no, I, I was thinking the same thing. I mean, honestly, once you moved out of there, it was, like, pretty minimal reason to go back. <laughs> I mean, I think you moved out, and I went home when my grandmother died. And right. I- and everybody was like, this is the last time he'll be in this house. Yeah. Everyone like, said, like, <laughs> like, I think everybody was like, yeah, this is never happening again. Um, I feel like the other thing about Cape specifically is like, it's so far out of the fucking way. Yeah, yeah you have to like, and, and especially, go. yeah, well, and especially if you like go, if you like fly into Boston, you don't have family there, like you're gonna rent a car to drive yeah. to the Cape, Fuck unless for like two hours. And especially like Alex has already been to the Cape, so like, why would you like, I would love to show Owie around, but sure, it's like, right. But yeah, but other than that, there's very seldom yeah. reason to. So go. I can think of one reason. I'm trying Besides to think. San Diego's. Besides all that, all that would be included in the thing yeah. is if we go and shoot the, mm. the dock. Yeah, right. true. That so would be like that would be like the the real real that I would be like yeah let's go to like dude we would have to hire Nate to come around Nathan could come have to we'd have us. a place to stay because my dad would love for us to just go awesome. like bum around the basement for a week yeah <laughs> he would love he, that he would love that. And yeah, I mean that would be cool. I think we should do that. I think it would be very fun to do. And they I would, want it. I would. I know they do. Bad. <laughs> I'm I don't sure. Know why? Longtime listener Tiny Myers would like that. <laughs> I'm sure she would. Dude, that would be a funny bit. Wow. It is. It is funny that you guys never have to go back when 
every aunt and uncle I have, my dad is there. Like everyone but ever think, is there. The only if, person that's not is my mom and her mom. But if your dad moved off Cape, you wouldn't go to visit your aunt and uncle on Cape. Like unless for like a very specific yeah, right. specific yeah. reason. Or if I was like if I was visiting Boston or something and if they you were would like go all the way to the Cape? Maybe if they were like, Hey, like we wanted to have a dinner and I also haven't seen them in like years. At this point. But that's but that's my point. You haven't seen them in years already. You know, you seem like once every like five years or something. Yeah. I mean, unless they were yeah, like specifically and invited, see me, yeah. then yeah, I'm sure, not. maybe a holiday and then everyone's going. I don't know, yeah, but then that's no. a specific thing. You know what I mean? It's so weird. It's yeah. so weird to think about. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, end of an era. I it's so bizarre. I thought I might care more, but not really. No, I even think like, dude, think about Boston is like also, but it's very it's, little. It's just Martin now. Yeah. So it's I'm just no, Martin. I mean, so yeah. I'm flying back. I got to go to a wedding in June. Mm. Right. My cousin's wedding that got pushed back because of COVID, whatever it's happening in June. And my mom's like, well, if you we're trying to figure out travel arrangements and stuff. And I was like, well, we could always fly in like a day early. I'm sure Martin would like want to hang out. You yeah. know what I mean? And I, but I was like, that's literally it. Yeah. It's like maybe Martin will want to hang out. Yeah. And that's all I got. <laughs> like, that's really crazy. Where did everyone go? I guess Rick Fence went to fucking Greece. Rick went to Florida. Rick went to Greece. I, I talked to Rick today for to like two hours. Really? I got a I got a Rick phone call today. Nice. Yeah, they rocked. Dude, Bill lives in Providence. Yeah. Providence, dude. We gotta do like a whole East Coast up and down to see everyone. Yeah. To see the it boys. It's bizarre to think about. Everybody is like got like really spread at well, except us. Yeah. Okay. Wait. We got very central. How yeah. close are how close are Rick and Billy? Orlando to to Gainesville is like two hours. Me may as well. Not bad. By the time I'm across the country, I had two hours of nothing. <laughs> nothing. No. 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 I, I, we've talked about this many times. We go to Billy's house. Yeah. Billy's got like eight rooms in this place. Of He's course. We live in Florida. <laughs> yeah, it's like 20 bucks mansion. for a mansion. <laughs> yeah. Rick comes over. Yeah. Yeah. We destroy Billy's house yeah. completely. Chaos raise it mode. to the ground. Yeah. Right. Bring him back I to LA. destroy Billy's house so oh, bad. Oh, Billy yeah, buys a new one because they're we, so cheap. Yeah. If we tank the house, then he has to move, and he might as well come And he'll just move in with voice. Rick. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, have you, yeah. think about this. Sure think about how crazy this is. We're all like, yeah, basically never go back to Massachusetts. Fuck it. Billy never wants to leave Florida. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? Does he actually not want to leave Florida? No. He has zero interest. He loves it there. No, no one loves it there. Billy does. It's, it's Talk to him about he it. He just doesn't want to leave. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Honestly, my like mom will probably never leave Cape Cod. I thought that I about think, my mom. Yeah. yeah, but oh yeah, no, like because my my mom's from Boston, right? Yeah. So like, it's not like you know. I think was, if, is your mom going back to New York? No. Oh shit. Oh yeah, this is the. Best I mean, part. where where you're from, where none of that shit matters. My parents grew up in Texas, all that oh, shit. Yeah. I just like my mom is like a homebody, mm. so I don't like if if she did move anywhere, I'd probably be back to Boston. Yeah. Like if, mm. I, if I could think, but yeah, my mom's not moving anywhere. She's she's, just she's gonna, gonna go nomad mode. Yeah, yeah. that's sick. That's for sick. an in. Like indefinite amount of time. Living out of her car, or is she getting like an RV. She's gonna, no, no, no. She's gonna sell her car, get a new one. She's gonna buy a new car. Okay. Like it's probably good. like a pretty big SUV. Okay. And she's just gonna travel around. She has like people like all over the country, so she's gonna travel around for like a year or two, and then uh, figure it find out. Find somewhere to settle down. Uh, I was just, just gonna stay with people. Yeah. Your Belinda. <laughs> Maybe. Wow. <laughs> um, no, she's gonna. She does actually have a friend in your Belinda for real. Um, what a place to have a friend. I, well, they're not happy there, but they're there for work. I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's just like. Huh. I have a feeling she's gonna end up in Oregon because my uncle lives there and stuff, mm. and she's interested in living in the Northwest. Mm. Uh, so I have a feeling she'll probably end up there, and she thinks so as well. But she's gonna just. Drive hmm. around. Hmm. Imagine she drives through Arkansas. I was like, actually, what kind of rules here? As someone who's driven through Arkansas a couple times, <laughs> probably not going to happen. It didn't look like you could live the anywhere answer, there. The answer it's, is yes. It's not the spot. <laughs> it's not the yeah, spot. Yeah, my, uh, I think the, I, I, I think my dad will probably stay on Cape Cod. Like he, yeah, that's he's born there. He has a career there. And he has a career there. But so here's the thing. Minimum amount of time he's got left there if he were to leave mm -hmm. is like 10 years because you have to retire from being a firefighter when you're 65, like hard cap on that. Oh, they hard cap. Yeah. They like, don't. and dudes will work on their 65th birthday as like their last day. Like as, uh, a, as a thing. Yeah. Cause like 
that's just the last day they can be a firefighter and no one wants to not be a firefighter anymore apparently um they, they can't like work then, like in an office or something a firefighting office no like even the chief is like retired this year because he hit 65 yeah, chief. yeah but wow. the thing is and if you're doing chief. firefighter that whole time you have a crazy pension and like all this oh shit yeah that's they're like they're chilling but so in in 10 ish years maybe my dad and diane my stepmom will decide to move to like maine or something where right. uh, there's like a house and that, like that want, sounds like being kind of in the snow or whatever but maybe they also don't and mm-hmm. they just continue to vacation there like mm-hmm. they do yeah. currently and still have a house on cape because they like the cape and like they oh, both grew up there and the whatever. move is live in maine vacation on the cape yeah true and that, that might move. be what they do then you then you're the Dude, man is people. fucking sick then you're the vacationers well except now year round is the vacationers oh dude it's like chaos chaos instead all of like now. my life is your vacation my yeah. vacation, my vacation is your vacation, is your vacation. <laughs> <laughs> so you ever, now that we're across the country yeah you ever meet people who maybe I've talked about this before, but who don't understand people live on Cape Cod? Uh, I had someone that happened to me living in Boston at yeah, going to college. Like you live there? Yeah. That that is true. I actually had people at, at college do the same shit. But I had someone I met when I got out here, and they were like, they were like, "Oh, it says you're from the Cape, but like, where are you really from?" And I was like, "The Cape." And they're like, "Yeah, like we have a house there too." But and I was like, "No, no, no." <laughs> I, I lived there. My, I grew up. I was born on, at Cape Cod Hospital, and I lived in a house there year round for 18 years <laughs> like people live there and they're like i didn't know that okay think about this nick is the only person on this table born in cape Cod Hospital. that's true wow that's crazy what yeah. was it like don't remember was it like Grey's anatomy i have no idea is that based on is that it's just a hospital it's show dude hospital <laughs> show. uh no i don't know but but my mom worked there when i was growing up so i've been there like a lot yeah yeah, yeah nice lived, place i mean i lived on like I like lived near Main Street at one point, so I was you know I was obviously there all the time. So. Yeah. yeah, that's one of the top hospitals in the world. Really, mm-hmm. oh. last time I went there was when Love we top. went to see Graham, and uh. she called Sean Goon Boy, and yeah. then was mad that she wasn't dead. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, man. <laughs> It was so fucking funny, dude. I'll never forget her just putting her head on the fucking <laughs> on the lunch tray, and she's like. Ugh. <laughs> She just wanted to be in done. disbelief. She was so mad. She thought that was She was time, so man. mad that we were there to see her because that meant that she wasn't dead. It was yeah. so funny. Oh my this, god. This is a completely unrelated thing, but I wrote this down just as a, as a passing thought I had. Mm-hmm. Something when I was a, when I was a young impressionable man, I was hanging out with Chris Marchanti a lot. And I'll never forget I like texted him something and I said something like I said something LOL, and he said, dude, only girls say LOL. That is the most Chris Marchante thing I could think of. Dude, and yeah. I just totally stopped saying it. I was like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I, you know, I'm I, a bitch, dude. I've always been a ha-ha guy, dude. always. <laughs> dude, I've so, always been a ha-ha guy, yeah. yeah. Guys, is it gay to use LOL? <laughs> fellas. <laughs> fellas. <laughs> Dude, I, but but then but I use them all the time. I think it's great. It's fine. <laughs> but it's, I, but I I don't know why. I, I think I I sent I sent wall to somebody today, and I went, man, we girls say wall. Yeah. We should find. Can Only. we find him and send and everyone just spam lol at him? That's a, I follow That's the Instagram. thing that's the thing that someone who calls women females would say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> only only females use lol. Dude, <laughs> some cursed thinking. <laughs> Dude, this is true. <laughs> Dude, that's like, dude, that's like, dude, the dudes I went to college in Boston with who would call girls females and read like fucking 48 Laws of Power. It's like the same people. Dude, <laughs> dude the calling girls females thing is crazy because I'm like, why are you trying to be all scientific? Like, bro, also, yeah, just like, what's, yeah, I don't, it's, it's wild. It's a curse. Well, because then it'll be like dudes and females. It's not even like, because they, they'll never say males. Like, it's fucking crazy. Dude, I'm trying to think of other things that only girls say. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just like you know, only girls say LOL. That's true. that's it. That's the only that's one. That's the only thing, dude. Oh, dude, what a rogue thought to have running through your mind. <laughs> <laughs> also, you got to say that to the like thirteen year old that you're talking to. Right. Yeah. At the time, <laughs> also by the way, Chris Marchante, let's do some like, you do, real you thinking. You do a lot of cabin <laughs> trips, dude. You want to know what's crazy about Chris Marchante? How old was he? Is he your age? He's a little younger than me, I think, but oh, only no. by like a year or something. Okay. I think we're about the same age. So you're 31 now? Yeah, okay. Let's keep talking about it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are, are you 31 or 30? 
I'm 30. No, he's 31 going on 32. Stop it. Okay. He'll be 32 in two weeks. Okay. So, so, okay. In like tomorrow will be nine days. Tomorrow's my birthday, actually. True. So, okay. So you're, you're five years older than me, which means Chris probably four years older than me. So I was, I feel like he was 19 when I was 13. I feel like, no. That, wait, no. But that, that that math doesn't check out. So he's eighteen. How you old probably is this 15. fucking guy? No, he's he had already he had already done his military shit. What Remember was the that, by the way? I don't know. It that. wasn't even you real. Know what Here's the thing: it was probably JRTC, which means he could do it in high school. I think it was that. No, no, no. It was Marines. It was Marines. But I think it was, it was just. Like I think a it was still probably thing. JRTC. It's like still. I don't. I don't know. I feel uh, like he was. I feel like he was at least nineteen. Anyway, I feel like this dude is a liar. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, <laughs> this dude. This dude. The point of this story is chat. I was 13 going over to this kid's house. He was some nebulous teenage age. He, his mother, used to make us pizzas and bring them upstairs to us. And now I'm thinking about what's going through that lady's head. There's this. There's Her this, basically adult son. There's our adult I son. I kind of remember not boy. much. <laughs> going through her head dude somebody please, please clip out big names going i pretty much remember not much <laughs> fucking please <laughs> um, if i recall yeah that shit was nuts and his dad was like the A lead cop. detective in harwich yeah unfortunate what <sighs> yeah yikes yeah. that's how you get away dude with what, stuff, what are you yeah. saying yikes about wasn't danny DiMatteo your best friend growing up yeah in like second grade yeah nick's a cop Unbelievable. <laughs> Didn't think I'd see the day. Dude, I, I need the super cut of things Big Nick has said this episode. All right, so here's the deal. Yeah. The other day, okay. <clears throat> this is something that I knew about. Okay. And, okay. okay. <laughs> but I didn't know a lot, a lot about it. Yeah. And, Dev, you're probably going to have some knowledge. Nick, you might. Sean, I think very little, if yeah, any. Probably nothing. I don't have a lot With going sports. on. Sports. Big Brother out. Magazine. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Do you know Big Brother Magazine? No. So I I remember it existing, and I remember knowing that some of the guys from Jackass came from Big Brother. Yeah. That's pretty much the extent. The show? No. (laughs) He just said the magazine. Big Brother was a magazine. Separate from the show. The, you're thinking you're of thinking the you're thinking show of the, Big Brother. He's thinking of the reality TV show. No, no these are nothing. completely different. No, Two completely Big Brother is a skateboarding magazine. It was a skateboard magazine. Uh, okay. Okay. Nick, Crash Course. Yeah. Big Brother was a skate magazine that was started by the dude who made Jackass. Yeah, Jeff Tremaine. Jeff and, um, and Rick Kosick was in it. Correct. Like a filmer as okay. well. So. Okay. Yes. Okay. Eventually, people that went to contribute were like Wee Man. Was a skater for them. Okay. Pontius was a contributor. Okay. Eventually Knoxville came on, and then These they are went all jackass. And then guys. they went and made jackass. Understood. They teamed up with CKY and they made jackass. Right. But Big Brother magazine is the single yep. coolest thing okay. that has ever existed. Okay. It is the culmination of like everything that I would have thought was so fucking cool when yeah. I was younger. Yeah. And. I have been doing a lot of research okay. because I think it's like actually awesome. So it is technically a skateboard magazine, but it is like one third skate magazine, one third like porno mag, and Whoa. one third like mad magazine. Okay. Basically. It was yeah. whatever they wanted it to be. Pretty much. Yes. Just like no, like pepper- 100% it was whatever they wanted it was like it to CKY be. like CKY the magazine. Dude, like, like seriously. So at the time, like Trans World skateboarding was like the only thing that was out, mm. and then Thrasher came out. Yeah. But they, Thrasher was like supposed to be like the edgy one, but right. they were like still like super corporate. Yeah. And one of the guys that ended up contributing to Big Brother worked at Thrasher and was trying to get this thing made, and they were just like, no, we can't print that. Yeah. Those two were both doing like skateboarding. Yes. Like exclusive. Yes. Yeah, that's right. all it was. And basically, they were just like, yeah, we can't print that. Yeah. Like. We just can't. And they were like, well, fine. We'll just go make our own skate magazine. And they made Big Brother magazine. Mm. Things that rocked about it. Every issue, until they eventually got bought, um, was a different format Mm. and layout. And so, like, the first issue was just, like, regular magazine. Had a logo. They didn't have a consistent logo. Like, every issue had, like, a different logo. 
like one issue was like spiral bound notebook. Mm. One issue was like a comic book sized. One was like a little square. One came in a cereal box. Wow. One, so it was just like very creative, very different. There were articles about just like fucking nothing. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, dude, there was like articles just like about the contributors. Like they would just like write about themselves. Sounds like, like the HQ boys. Dude, it was like. <laughs> but a magazine. So I'm so how this happened was me and Alex were looking for something to watch. I see a docu. I was like, oh, Big Brother. I was like, oh, shit. I wonder if that's Big Brother magazine, whatever. And I was looking. I was like, oh, my God. It is the doc about Big Brother. And Where's I watched it. It's on Hulu. It's on, yeah. mm. You got to watch it. It's fucking awesome. It's good. The <laughs> whole time I'm watching it, I'm just like like ear to ear smiling. Like, this is the coolest thing I've ever fucking seen. Mm-hmm. It was basically just a bunch of guys making something that they like purely wanted to make and no one could tell them no. Mm-hmm. And they were just making this thing and ended up getting like really fucking crazy. Mm. Like they did this segment in this, in this issue that was like, it was mocking the other magazines. So it was like how to do an Ollie. And it was like a spread about like h- how to do it. And the next one was like how to do a pop shove it. And then the next one was how to kill yourself. <laughs> and it was like, wow. dude, it was like crazy shit like this. Like Pontius did like this article about like how to snort drugs with kids. And he had this like little kid Jesus. and they were snorting pixie sticks <clears throat> off like a skate deck and shit. Like it was chaos. Wow. Yeah. Dude, it was like insane chaos. And no one was telling them no. Wow. How, did, how did it wind up ending? So it wound up ending because Larry Flint, the guy who owned Hustler magazine, ended up buying it. And because they were like drowning, they were losing money. Mm. They were just, it was just like, cause it's a bunch of fucking kids just like touring around the country, skateboarding and basically doing pre jackass mm. filming it and making a magazine about it. And then they were running out of money. So they sold to, to Flint. He starts publishing it. It starts getting like watered down and whatever. And then Tremaine, at this time Knoxville has come on. Uh, I don't know if you guys know the thing that he did to get like noticed was they did an article in Big Brother that was uh, testing self defense weapons on Knoxville. So they like Tasers. maced him, tased yeah. him. Uh, uh, tased him with like a stun taser and then with the shooting taser yeah. and then someone was supposed to shoot him with a gun in a bulletproof vest yeah. and everyone like every, they go out into like the desert to do it and everyone backs out no one everyone's like I can't fucking shoot you I can't shoot yeah. you so he shoots himself dude with the gun he like, like this hold- close yes yeah. he shoots himself with the gun like this close and then they printed it and they were like, yeah, this is incredible. Dude. And, <laughs> and then basically Tremaine was like, we should make Big Brother a TV show. Right? Yeah. And that's where like the division kind of came where it was like, Some guys are didn't we a do skate it? magazine? Uh-huh. Are we a, you know what yeah, I mean? And uh-huh. then basically Tremaine linked up with CKY, basically took all the Big Brother footage and the CKY footage, spliced it into a pilot, took it to MTV and they bought it. Wow. Wow. But That's, it was like the coolest thing. And yeah. now my new obsession. You got to find them all. I am hunting them all down. Okay. Mm. They are expensive. Yes, I bet. Yeah. Because they are rare. Oh, yeah. Because you got to think. The first issue alone, right? They made it and it was so shitty that they, it has a price on it. It was like $3. But then they ended up not selling it. They gave them away. And there's a little sticker on it that's like. Yeah, this thing fucking sucks. So we we can't like justify pay, making people pay for it. You can just wow. have it. Like, how much are these things? Did you find? So anything pre Flint, yeah, is no cheaper than like forty dollars an issue. Okay, right. Some of the more infamous issues, like the cereal box issue, I found one for seven hundred dollars, <sighs> and I almost bought it. Sure. Wow. I was like snapped by it. Really close. Dude, I wouldn't of, have blamed you. That would have been cool. Speaking of things I almost bought, a PS Vita slime edition. Oh. It's mm. got the slime yeah, on the back. On the slime on the back, like the like slime. kind of like on it, right? It, or like, is it it's like it's just like it's like an engravement yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Bill is looking, he's he's going sicko mode. He's buying the four hundred dollar fucking Metal Gear Solid Vita or whatever. Yeah. And he was like, oh, I was looking for Vitas. I know you were talking about wanting one and sent me the Dragon Quest Slime one. It was like 250 bucks. Not and I was bad. like, that's not bad. I know, but I was Dude, like, you got to think about it. like 
because now that I'm searching for these magazines, mm-hmm. dude, they, it's going to go away. I know. And then you're not going to be able to find them. I know, but well, for two, cheap, $2. For $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2.
a napkin. Like, I was like, what the fuck is this? She's like, yeah, that's what they are now. Like, yeah. yeah, they just got websites now. Yeah, I think yeah, of like, I, I think of that kind of shit when I'm like, when I'm thinking about collecting things. Um, most recently, like ma- a lot of manga and whatnot. Um, I'm always in this thing of like, um, and I think it kind of was spurned more by my my video game collecting was like, like, I mean, obviously like now everything's like digitized and whatnot, but you know, you can't really get particular N64 titles or whatnot. Like I could emulate them and whatnot, but like mm-hmm. these, like these original things are going to like, are going to go away. And it, it feels, it like feels, it's almost like a hoarder mentality. I think it like feels yeah. good to have these things physically. Like I mm-hmm. could fucking, I could have super Mario 64 on my fucking, on my PC running at 60 frames per second, right. fucking ray tracing on it. Yeah. But like to have Mario 64 cart mm-hmm. and like to slam it in there and like play it. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's, it's so unnecessary, but it, when one you once you're actually like playing it like viscerally like feels like it's like this is how you should be playing it. Although I could play it a different, I could probably get a fucking N sixty four USB controller, right? But like it's something about just doing it in think, the original I think that's way, like yeah. fully a placebo thing. Like it's, a it has, thing. it definitely has to like, be. Like, like I think about the 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 Vita, mm. like two hundred fifty bucks for what? For me to like touch this thing one time, yeah, yeah and yeah. put it away, mm. you know. But I think I'm just yeah. too, I'm too logical when it comes to stuff like that. But it's mm. like. It is yeah. literally just like pissing money away. Oh, sure. 100%. I don't even touch the Vita yeah. I have. But even us flipping through this magazine, literally the whole time we were flipping there, I was like, I want every Big Brother fucking <laughs> issue so bad to flip through it like this. You like, know, the, I want it so bad. Yeah. Yeah. You, your point about like, when is this going to be available again? Oh. I saw an article a couple of weeks ago of a guy who collects Jordans. Not that that's a very unique collection, but he just, it was a big deal because he just finished like every 11s. D- different guy. No, this is oh. all the ones from 85 in every different oh, color. Okay. And it took, oh, him like, got, yeah. it took him like 25 years yeah. to do or something like actively collecting for that long and then finally got it. So like if you were really serious about this and you got this one. It's a big one. Big one. But then, you know, what if you don't finish the collection for like 10 years? That's like a cool thing to do for so long. Yeah. It just, you got to think about like. You, That's my journey. fear, right? My fear is I pass up on Long it right haul. now, right? Yeah. And then <clears throat> another one doesn't surface. And maybe for like, you get some cash. Right. right. Yeah. Another one doesn't surface for like five, six years. Yeah. And either it's in shittier condition or it's like triple the price. Mm. And then I'm like. Yeah, should have done it. Should have just or or the worst thing happens. You buy for seven hundred dollars now. Someone posts one that's just fine, three hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's, that's there's always that's the, the fucking that's the curse, right? <laughs> so it's one of those things. It's like, do you just bite down and accept that maybe I'm not getting the best deal, but I am ensuring mm-hmm. that I have this piece for my collection, yeah. or do I roll the dice and? Mm-hmm. Hope I'm not paying fourteen hundred dollars in five years for. Well, you didn't buy those magic wild cards earlier, so true. You saved a little bit of money. Now it's like budget. I you think go. you do it, Six, and it's eight. not even a I'm, question for I, me. I, I think you just got to do it. I, now, <laughs> let it be known, Nick is a perma enabler. It's not his money. I know, and I he am, loves collecting stuff. I have also asked a few other people, and a few other people have also told me that I should buy it. I mean, if you've got like, if you got the seven hundred dollars, exactly. If it's not going to put you in any like financial hardship, fuck, why not? Um, you're gonna make seven hundred dollars in a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I even, I even, I mean, I even do that shit with like manga stuff. Like, I've like started buying manga and whatnot. I started buying manga because I've, I read Berserk three times, so I'm like, maybe I should start supporting them. <laughs> um, so <laughs> that, and so um, I actually just bought the first four Jujutsu Kaisen, wow. and I'm gonna start. So I've kind of started like doing it for that reason. And it's like, it's like. It's like cool to collect shit, obviously. And even like like I still buy like a lot of my video games physical. Like mm. if I have a chance to buy something physical, like PC is really the only thing I buy digital for video games. Like yeah. I try and buy all my Switch games and all my PS4 and PS5 games. I try and buy the physical copy of them and I'll yeah. like wait yeah. until they come out. So it's just like because I mean like these and I think it's also we may be falling into the unfortunate pitfall as the PS3 store is closing down. Yeah, when does that close? June, I think. Soon. Yeah, June, July. So if I'm gonna buy the beat, I could buy it now. Yeah, because yeah. that shit is gonna rock it. They don't have. Yeah. What I don't. What's their medium? Medium? Oh, it's all digital. Is it? It's well, no, they have cards, but I don't have any. I have like slide. I have like slide four on yeah, card. Yeah, but you gotta download. But, but everything a, you want onto your Vitas. Yeah, or at least buy. Oh no, so so the store is closing down, but you can still get all of your old purchases. But. I'm wondering. Are you when. sure? Yes. I saw a lot of people being like, no, download I, everything now. Well, yeah, yeah. Download everything now, but you can still get, yeah, down. I think they mean down. Like 
if you don't have this, uh-huh. buy it. Uh-huh. So then it'll be in your your li- your, your um, library. Your so library. you can you can download oh, it later. Okay, okay. Now, I'm wondering I've if that hard onto the yeah. uh, as many wars. cards yeah. as you can. Yeah. So I'm wondering yeah. if Freedom that's wars. ever gonna go away, right? And then well, now, that's, so now, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So like now we have to like get it under our computers and like start archiving this shit that's digital only. So it's like because. You know, we have to <clears throat> like games, um, CD based games, especially um, cartridge based games are a little more hardy. But, you know, getting those digitized and uploaded and archived are very important because, you know, CD medium can go into disc rot and yeah. those start fucking disintegrating. Um, and so it's like very interesting, like what the next like hundred years is going to look like in terms of like video game and computer technology and how what what our archives are going to look like because mm. they don't last as long as like paper so dude cds are so bad cds yeah. are like the war they're like they were so good at the time but like they can break so easily they can scratch break, so easy. break yeah. bend yeah. warp yeah. and sega saturn games yeah. notorious for disc rot really yeah like unlucky playstation ps2 so on and so forth like those are those have typically been fine but yeah sega saturn games are like notorious for like it's just starting to rot mm. so that's and those crazy. are fucking expensive as fuck. Well, Big Gang, how about this? You buy the $700 okay. thing. I'll buy the Vita. What can I buy? You should save your money. Okay. Yeah, you should. Good call. <laughs> well, everybody, that was episode 53 of the HQ cast. And next week is our one-year special. Actually, the, the episode will be live on our one-year anniversary. And next weekend, if you somehow made it to this part of the episode, next weekend, Big Nick's, episode, Big Nick's birthday, Big yeah. Nick's episode, is, we're doing a 24 hour stream. We owed you guys one from the Halloween. HQ season two launch. Season two launch. Um, <clears throat> so come to twitch.tv slash HQ boys and catch us for 24 hours straight as we wow. have on prepared, the 17th. And we prepared a full day of games, shenanigans, uh, cake, shenanigans, cake. Who, what? Yeah. Jeff told me he's making me a cake for my birthday. Cake. Oh, true, true, true. We're going to um, do a lot of shit. And uh, we'll see you guys there. As always, thank you to all God for giving us the gear we need to make great stuff for you. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace. The internet died. Oh, really? I see that, yeah. yeah. It sure did.